Hello my friends, Stephanie Bernard for the Stamps of Life and it is time for another 30 second card in 5 minutes. Although lately sometimes I kind of go a little bit further to maybe 6 minutes. But you know what, who's counting right? Well I know who's counting, Ken is counting. So we're going to do a fun card today. I have no idea what it's going to look like, I have no idea what we're doing. I just try to always put the newest items on my desk and I say okay we're going to go for it. So I have our newest stamp sets the ornaments, uh, for st uh, ornaments for Christmas, and I have our Regal stamp set. So I have my Regal items, and this is a dirty little secret of mine. All of my Regal items are in this one envelope, so I take my Regal framelits, my Regal stand-ups, and my Regal flippets, and put it all in one container. Because they all coordinate together, and so why not have them all together, so I just grab it and I can just go, okay, I'm going to make this work with this, or oh, this framelit works with this one. So now that my Regal stamps are out, I will include that in the package as well, so all my Regal items are together and I don't have to find, like, search for them, which is kind of an organization tip. Okay, so I have those. Then I have all of my new ornament dies that have just come out, which I'm very excited about, which that's already cut out, so we'll move that off. So I have those all here. I also have um, remnants. I just taped the Kit Club uh, video, so I have all of that out. So I have my embellishments if I need some embellishments. If you're not part of the Kit Club, um, we will have information online eventually for that. We have a waiting list for that. But then I also have the papers from the Kit Club, so that's what I figured I would use for this 30 second card because the papers are right here and I don't have to worry about it. So I have lots to pick from and it looks like I have the stamp set, oh, the die, Mary die in there and the cute little postcard. But I have all the fun papers with it and I have all the cardstock. So that way I have more at my disposal in case I need it and I'm gonna kind of mix and match the papers. I, ooh, looking at all of them and they're double sided so they're really fun. I get to kind of look and see what I like and what I don't. Let's see, okay. I'm just trying to think while I'm talking but I'm not very good at that. And let's see, I think we're all set. I got my adhesive, I have some ink pads, I have my secret weapon. And do I have my timer? Kenny, are you ready to time? It's so funny, people think it's funny he doesn't speak. He does speak, he is a quiet person in real life, but he does speak. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, start the time. Okay, so now I gotta figure out what I'm doing. So, <laughs> I never think about it ahead of time, of course, because that would be not fair. So I think we're gonna go, ooh, I like the red and the green. I really, oh, isn't that pretty? So everything in our kit club goes together, so you don't have to worry. So we're gonna use those. So that's kind of half the battle for me. And to tear, or to cut my cardstock to be the right size, you're just gonna lay that down, tear it. Now you know this is the right size for the stand-up base. So we're gonna get in here, and hopefully I can find quickly the flip it version, so there's one piece. We just want the three main pieces. There's another piece, and gosh, wouldn't that be a kicker if it wasn't in here? Because knowing me, oh, no, I think that's it. There it is, three, okay. So now we're gonna get the base. Again, no speed bumps. If you don't know what a speed bump is, I need to do a video and just call it speed bump. We wanna crooked, make that a little crooked. Run that through. Ooh, run that through, got that. Pop that out, move that off to the side. Then we're going to get our pattern paper, which, oh, it's cute on both sides. Oh my goodness, we might have to use one on one side and one on the other. Line that up, line this one up. Again, we don't want any random speed bumps, so we're gonna kind of move those off to the, I mean, move them crooked a little. Run this through. Do, 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 do. Ugh. Okay, run that one through. We got that, pop those babies out. And then I have a feeling I might need uh, something die cut. Well, let's see. Let's, let's stamp this first and see what happens. So let's, who knows? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And this is, this is funny. This is the sample. This is how they come to me. So I don't even have the real ones. Okay, that one looks like it's going to fit one of these. So let's see what's going to fit in my card. So again, for clear stamps, it's always nice. You can lay it on top to see what lines up to fit it. So that one kind of looks like, I think we might use this outside one. Oh my goodness, and I said this is three stamps and it's not. That's gonna be fun on that video. Okay, we're gonna line that up. That is one stamp, Stephanie, thank you very much. Kind of blew that one in the last video. 
<laughs> that's going to be entertaining right there, Kenny. We got to remember that. We need to fix that video. So we're going to stamp that. No one's perfect, right? Except stamping is always perfect on the secret weapon. And we're going to die cut this out. Gosh. The problem is, is I have to design these literally months in advance. And then I finally get them and I forget how I designed it sometimes. Ooh, that looks perfect. Perfect. Of course, I'm using this, um, the Sizzix uh, magnetic platform, so that cuts it out perfect. Bring that over here. Bring that over here. Never, ever, ever decorate the inside until you have folded it. Because I guarantee, chances are, you will decorate the wrong side. I always teach that in my classes. And I totally just messed that up. Dang it. Oh, here, we'll flip it. OK. Is that going to work? Ah, that doesn't work. Crap. OK, so we said a bad word. Sorry, everyone, I said a bad word. I don't usually say bad Well, I say bad words all the time. What am I talking about? But I usually don't say them on video. OK, but that's like my favorite bad word. OK, so we're going to lay that down and run that through again. It's an ugly bad word. OK, run that through. La, 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 la. Pretend we didn't make that mistake. Luckily, we had two pieces in the kit. So now this dun, 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 is going to go in there, add our adhesive there. Drop that down. It's all pre-measured for you. You don't have to worry. You don't have to do extra cutting. No trimmers needed. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Tricky, tricky. You see what I did there? I did two different versions. We're going to hold it in the air. Big bottom, little top, fold it in half towards you. Take the top flap, fold that up. Turn it to the left. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to decorate the front. Never, ever decorate the front until you have folded it, because you'll decorate the wrong side. We're going to lay that on the inside there. But then, this I want this to be a Christmas card. So let's add a cute little ornament. Ornament. Ooh, let's do this. OK, so let's do, oh, it's hot in here. OK, so let's add this. Is it the pressure or is it the heat of the weather? Let's see. And I want to do the candy cane. So we're going to drop in that little die over here. I hope you, I'm sure you can't see what I'm doing over here right now. Sorry. And cutting pad. And I'm not feeling the time on this one. I'm a little nervous about the time. Run that through. Pop that out. Pop that out. Pop this out. Pop that out. Give that a little poke. Give this a little adhesive. Try not to use, put adhesive down when you're on your secret weapon. Because if you get adhesive on your secret weapon, it's not good. So I know I just did the wrong thing just now what I said, than what I said to do. But I highly recommend you don't do that. And I, if I had any pop, oh, I have these. These are poppy dossies. OK, so we'll add some of those. Gosh, you know what? I'm seriously not even paying attention to the time right now. I forgot I was doing a 30-second card video. So ah! OK, so we're going to add that right there. That's cute. And then I really want to add some ribbon, which I know I don't have time to add, but I don't care. Um, let's add. Never cut your ribbon until after you've tied it or done whatever you're going to do, because you'll never have enough. So we're going to add our little ribbon. <gasps> oh, that's cute. I do have a video on how to tie ribbons if you, can't, if you don't like tying bows. So you can watch that entertainment value. OK, so we're going to add this to the front of the, oh my goodness, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. It's too sticky. That one's a very sticky one. OK, so, oh, that one looks horrible. Fix it, fix it, fix it. OK, gosh, OK. OK, and I still want to do something on the inside. And I'm totally just mush, mushing up the time right now. I'm hurting myself here. Um, Totally just forgetting that this is a 30 second card video and I shouldn't have put the bow on there because now it's going to make that too poofy. So we are going to just forget that this is a 30 second card video because it's pretty much all over at this point. That fits. That goes in there. And it's getting really hot in here. I, I'm telling you, it is probably the hottest day in America in California right now today. And so I feel like I'm like perspiring and that's disgusting. And we can't run the air conditioning when we are taping, so it's just a joy of laughs here. OK, so there. Push that down. There you go. That's totally crooked. What a 
loser. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to go fast. Oh, well, we're having fun. It's all between friends here, right? We're all friends. Okay, so we added, that one is much better. So now we're going to add adhesive to the back of that one. And can you get ready because we're almost done. So we're adding adhesive to the back of that. We just have to do our stamp on the back. And apparently I, well, I'm not even going to talk to you about what I called this on the back one time because it was inappropriate. Stop! I almost, yelled, I almost forgot to yell stop. I was busy talking. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the card first before we um, dissect how long it took. So here's our cute little card. I, I actually really like the black outline. I think it really makes it stick out a little better. That my poor little bow. So then you open it up and it says, peace, love, and joy. And I have my little stamp created by Stephanie Bernard on the back. And so there's my cute little card. Okay, what's the damage? <gasps> oh my gosh, can I blame it on the heat? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That is, I think that's like the worst I've ever done. Well, it's because I had to redo the one and I die cut a lot. So what was the answer again? Let me see it again. I didn't, did you delete it? Seven minutes and 42 seconds. You would think in the years that I've done this that my times would get faster. Apparently, though, my times are getting slower. So either I'm getting worse at my job or I talk too much, or my cards are getting better. So we need to go back to one of the original cards. Maybe we need to do that, Kenny, and go back to one of the original cards. I bet you they weren't as fantastic as this. Whatever. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me for another 30-second card in, and I'm not gonna tell you how many times, that, how, many, how long that took me, because that, it, you know what, it's cute. I would send this to my mother. So I just wanna fix that bow a little, okay. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of a 30 second card in five minutes and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Come on, I'm in the